While researching various topics to cover in these videos, I often come across many strange and interesting Reddit mysteries that are begging to be explored further, but that I haven't been able to cover due to the leads on the mystery falling off or there simply not being enough information on it for a full video. However, many of these mysteries are still very interesting, with extensive research into them and entire communities created for solving them. In addition, I believe many could use an extra pair of eyes, as a couple of these mysteries could still be solved today. So, let's take a look at five of my favorite unsolved Reddit mysteries. This video is made possible by sponsors like today's Babbel. If you are anything like me, learning a second language has probably been something you've struggled with. I have always wanted to be able to speak another language for how it would help me in traveling and business, but always failed to do so. Babbel created a solution. Babbel is a language learning app that makes the entire process much more simple and easy to digest. They focus on teaching the most important practical language to be used in conversation in short 10-minute interactive lessons. This, combined with the vast number of ways to learn through podcasts, lessons, videos, and even games, the service is scientifically proven to get you speaking in just three weeks. If you'd like to try them out, you can click on the link in the description down below to receive 65% off your subscription. Thanks again to Babbel for sponsoring this video and making this content possible. First off, we have the bridge. Exploration videos are hugely popular nowadays, but one of the creepiest accounts of a journey into the unknown was documented on Reddit on the subreddit Let's Not Meet back in 2012. Known simply as the bridge, the original text-only post recounted how a Redditor had explored a bridge in North Wales, UK, with a group of friends when they were teenagers. In the post, the OP vividly describes, It wasn't long before we had removed the heavy steel disc and had started descending down the ladder into the structure. Once we had all safely reached the bottom, we decided to progress to the other side. At this point, we are totally confined into the narrow space that leads into the main area. If you are confused as to what the hell this bridge is supposed to be, you probably should be, because it was rather peculiar. He went on to describe the claustrophobic journey in detail, and states that at some point, they came across a room which tilled them to the core. Quote, In front of me was a single foldaway chair, positioned facing a wall. On the wall was a partially torn page from a newspaper or magazine, showing a fully naked lady in an erotic position. More disturbingly, the eyes of the woman on display had been cut from the page, removed with precision, not just hastily ripped off. It was a chilling story for sure, but as is often the case on Reddit, the community needed some proof. So, the OP returned to the bridge, bearing in mind he was no longer a teenager, but a grown adult by this time and took pictures for everyone to see. The scene was just as he had described, perhaps even worse. A dilapidated scene was found, with just about every detail the user recounted still existing. So the question then became, what was the point of this strange room in this abandoned bridge? The homeless Bifid Cipher. Our second Reddit mystery is a classic from almost a decade ago and is actually quite extensive and has a chilling resolution. It all started when a Redditor posted the following to r slash ask Reddit. Today, a homeless looking man handed me $50 and this note. Do you have any idea of what it means? Internet sleuths quickly deduced that the note was a bifid cipher, which is essentially a means of hiding messages in a seemingly random jumble of letters. The Bifid cipher is well known in cryptography and was invented in 1901. But what cryptic message had supposedly been handed to the OP by a homeless man? Well, once decoded, it read, there's plenty more money to make. Figure this out and prepare to meet July 19th, 56 and 6 hot dog stand outside Rue 57 Cafe. Ask for Mr. Input. 
However, things would not go so smoothly, and while there was eventually a meetup involving OP and many Reddit followers, and even the NYPD ended up getting involved, a second message was soon found which said, You have managed to find the message with the help of friends. You changed the rules, so now will I. July 12th, 4 p.m. Find the Blue Jay at 6 and a half and 56 and tell him you are the last. Now, Redditors had names to track down. Mr. Input from the first message and the Blue Jay from the second. Things got a little crazy from then on, with some Redditors jumping ship and calling the whole affair BS. While those who continued down the rabbit hole ended up transcribing names into IP addresses, figuring out Unix codes, and even tracking down retired professors. Strange coincidences were unraveled, such as the OP's phone number corresponding to a hex of a Department of Defense IP address, as well as it having a sum total of 42, which has become somewhat of an internet meme as the quote-unquote answer to life, the universe, and everything. If you visit the original Reddit post today, you can see that it was last edited with a chilling message from the OP that states, Received a phone call today, threatening violence against me and my family, going so far as to name members of my family and their addresses, unless I delete this post. The caller also told me to not show up on the 19th, and to inform anyone planning to show up on the 19th that nothing would happen. This will be my last message from this account before I delete it. I'll also be changing my number later today. I'm sorry if a resolution to this never happens, but I'm not willing to risk my family's safety for a few extra dollars. There is still no real consensus on the purpose of the whole affair, but it was a fun journey, and if you have some spare time on your hands, you should give it a look and let me know what you think of it. Bugged Extension Cord our next mystery is a disturbing case where a Reddit user found a SIM card and recording device in a power strip that had exploded while he was using his computer. After opening the burnt MacBook charger, Redditor ShadyBusiness15 posted pictures of his extension cable and the unsettling intruder on the subreddit, What Is This Thing? After being cross-posted to the Reddit Bureau of Investigations, other Reddit users quickly identified the presence of a microphone and concluded that the hidden object was most likely a bug or listening device, capable of recording OP when the SIM card's number was dialed. As you might expect, this led to many questions as to why Shady Business 15 might be being monitored. The poster eventually revealed that they were simply a university student, and that they were almost certain that it was a plug they took from their home when moving out but also noted that anyone who works for the accommodation has access to the room, so it could have been changed without him knowing at any point. When the student called the number on the SIM card, he only got an automated message, saying that the service was now closed, and if he had a voicemail, he could turn it on. In other words, the card had been deactivated. Upon calling the phone company, the Redditor was told that he would need a warrant to find out who may have called the number or to gain access to any recordings that might have been made. Suffice to say, this was not really possible or feasible for the student, and the questions of who and why still remain unanswered. Shady Business 15 did say that they hadn't ruled out the possibility that their parents were being monitored, though if true, the reason for the listening device remains a mystery. The Box of Crazy In 2013, Reddit got its first glimpse into the madness or possible genius of the so-called Box of Crazy, posted by Reddit user TramStopDan in r slash what's in this thing. The contents of the box included some impressive technical drawings and artistic hand-drawn maps, as well as some more bizarre handwritten notes and illustrations containing UFOs and mythical creatures. The old wooden box was allegedly found by Dan's friend just lying in the street next to some trash. When considering who it may have belonged to originally, Dan speculated the quote, clearly something had happened to the guy that was very memorable. It measures at roughly 29 by 38 inches, and almost all the drawings are very large. It appears that he was making a diorama slash tabletop display, 
Why, I have no idea. There are numbered parts and instructions slash explanations. A subreddit dedicated to understanding the box of crazy has been established under the name Investigators of Daniel Christensen's Mystery Box, and various theories have been put forward to try and explain what some of the notes and drawings mean. The most persistent theory to date is that the box's original owner went a bit crazy over the book of Ezekiel, as the quote-unquote aliens in the crazy box's drawing resembles creatures mentioned in the book of the Bible. User Flyboy underscore Will explains, Apparently, the guy went slightly insane over finding extraterrestrials in the Bible. He was obsessed with living creatures that are described as having four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub, the second, the face of a man, the third, the face of a lion, and the fourth, the face of an eagle, which matched up with the drawings in the box pretty well. One of the technical drawings looked like a patent application and is pretty detailed. The OP did some research into it, but could not find any registered patent containing such a design. Pinning down a timeline has also proved frustrating. As Tram Stop Dan explains, the dates are all over the place, late 30s all the way to early 80s. We may never know what exactly was going on in the original owner's head, and it's kind of sad to think that his work was just discarded in the trash. Yet, thanks to Reddit, it will now live on as an internet mystery. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get some more answers. The 432 Mystery Our last mystery actually originated on 4chan, but like many internet phenomena, has since been adopted by Reddit. There was also a dedicated wiki for it, being the 432 Mystery. Things all started when a 4chan user posted a screenshot of an ominous email they received. The email read the following. You have been selected. Where have you gone? We are watching. And a link was provided to an Onion site. A browser used for accessing the deep web. Upon following the link, those who dared would be directed to a site with more sinister messages, such as you have always been awake, enter your cage, and the story has just begun. The last of those contained another link, which pointed to the address of the original author of the message. Over time, the Onion site was updated and modified to include more cryptic puzzles, and as an increasing number of people started to investigate and decode them, the site continued to develop and progress. Events took an interesting and dark turn when changes began to appear which correlated directly to the 432 mystery thread. The mastermind behind 432 was clearly watching them and wanted this to be known. Soon after, the names and even pictures of some community members started to appear on the Onion site without their permission. Eventually, and perhaps thankfully, the Onion site stopped being updated. However, the Reddit thread and quest for answers continues and the mystery still remains unsolved. And that is all the Reddit mysteries I have for today. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video, as it really means a lot. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel or liking the video, as it really helps me out. Thanks again, and have a good night.